Hello and welcome to the Godi performance demonstration. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, Arm Studios Berlin was so kind to allow me to use one of their machines. It's Mac Pro uh, <laughs> Hexa Core with the 3.5 gigahertz and 16 gigabyte of RAM. Its SSD does one gigabyte per second in throughput, which could matter to us. All right, um, Godi will be will be using version 1.0. And to make it a bit more interesting, uh, the challenger will be MHL, uh, Media Hash List, which is in version 1.0.128, uh, last year's version, the latest one that there is. It's the spiritual predecessor of Godi, in fact. So to seal a directory in Godi, you say Godi seal and then directory or directories that you want to seal in MHL. It's pretty similar, except that we have to specify where the seal should go and which directory it wants to do. And because it will spit out some errors that kind of reveal a bit of information on the files that are stored there, I'm going to just throw them away and start the sealing progress. Not to forget, see how long it takes. Same here. And on the right side, you see the CPU going up a little but it's not much that's used there. Um, we are, we're doing 470 megabyte per second, not really more, and this one means that there's one file read at a time, not more, not less. So Godi is already done, uh, reading 460 megabyte per second and using 1.7 uh, 1 cores, whereas uh, Imagia just finished took more than twice as long uh, using just one CPU. So what you see here is that Godi is already parallelizing the two hashes that it creates. It creates a SHA-1 and an MD5. Um, also, what's kind of interesting, the MD5 is about, it's taking about 70% of the time that a SHA-1 takes. And this is kind of the 170% that you see here. Uh, all right. Um, once you have a seal, of course, you want to verify it. So let's try to do this with MHL. In MHL, you say verify which file do you want to verify? It's this one that I just written. Okay, there we go. Um, I can just hit enter here just to show you what's happening. Kind of nothing visible because all you see is errors. Uh, so the error code is 11. What you would see here, but I, as I told you, I can't show you, is that it managed to write an MHL file that can't read itself because one of the files contains a special character like this, and uh, this is something that creates invalid XML and it doesn't escape this properly. So it managed to basically <laughs> um, prevent you from using the seal that kind of is your insurance policy and it didn't tell you about it until you actually try to use it. So, the same thing with Godi. Uh, it's a bit easier on the command line, so uh, let's just try it out. Uh, <laughs> I just sealed the seal, of course I want to verify this. And let's see what happens. It does the same speed. So something is bottlenecking here. It's obviously the CPU, as I told you, the disk does one gigabyte per second easily. However, none of the files failed. And um, well, that's kind of the performance you see. It's just 1.7 cores, not, not much change. So let's make it a performance test. I mean, I mean MHL is out of the game kind of, and it can't compete with the multi-core. Um, that Godi does. Um, let's make let's feed Godi more files in parallel. So that's let's say st uh, streams per input device, and let's go to eight right away. Let's see what happens now. And uh, the CPU lights up, and it's much faster now. We are reading 1.5 gigabyte per second, and as you can see up here that at some point it doesn't have enough files to read. So here we have two uh, nearly two gigabyte per second throughput, and then the throughput is reduced to just one gigabyte and goes even lower. So I guess that we can't really do much more, even if we do 12 files uh, in parallel. Let's see, does it get any faster? I guess not so much. No, <laughs> shaved off a millisecond there. 
that's not really what we want but we see that it uses eight full cores and depending on the data set it could even use a little more but it might be that we see the CPU being next out it just has six physical cores uh, and six logical ones but in total if you get as fast as eight physical cores kind of I think you're already good um, that's performance comparison as you can see usually with today's CPUs uh, and today's SSDs uh, yeah the CPU could be the bottleneck sometimes it's uh, the reader but Godi will use all your available devices bandwidth and all your CPU uh, which makes you finish so much faster compare 3.5 seconds to 26 seconds that uh, well available or currently available tools do um, thanks for watching